Karl Denke aka, the Forgotten Cannibal, was a notorious German serial killer and cannibal during the early decades of the 20th century. He targeted men and women who were homeless, nomads, travelers, tourists, and anyone else from out of town. Since none of his victims was connected to him personally, he was able to avoid detection for many years. Denki was raised in the Kingdom of Prussia, which is now Zebus, Poland. His parents were two wealthy German farmers. Although he was a quiet kid growing up, he gave his parents a hard time too. At the age of 12, he ran away after only finishing elementary school. Fate led him to become a gardening apprentice so that he could support himself, but that profession didn't last long. After his father died, Denki received some inheritance money. He originally purchased some farmland, but then decided against being a farmer like his father. So, he sold the farmland and bought a small house. His primary occupation was as a slaughterhouse worker at a nearby meat shop in the local market, the modern-day Rokul market. Denki was liked and respected throughout his community. He even volunteered at the local Lutheran church as an organist and cross-bearer. But everything changed when Denki suddenly stopped going to church sometime in 1906. No one knows why he stopped or what happened in his life to change him. The real mystery is that something made Denki want to commit murder. Investigators believe that Denki killed anywhere from 30 to 40 people between the years 1903 and 1924 in the German Empire. Desperate travelers and homeless people were his primary victims. One of his slaughterhouse co-workers was wrongfully charged and sentenced for one of his murders too. After 21 years of killing people, Denki was finally stopped on December 20, 1924. He unsuccessfully attempted to kill a homeless man by the name of Vincennes Olivier. Denki reportedly had an axe and slashed Olivier's scalp with it. Fortunately, Olivier managed to escape the scene and notify the authorities about the attempt on his life. Olivier identified Denki to the police, who arrested Denki on the spot. The police tried to question Denki, but he was not very talkative. They put him in a holding cell and searched his home for evidence. A personal ledger was found with the names of at least 31 people recorded in it. These people turned out to be Denki's murder victims, except for Olivier because he escaped. The police also found human body parts spread all over the home. Apparently, Denki liked to chop up his victims and put their body parts in large jars. What's even more disturbing is that Denki ate the flesh of his victims and sold jars of the flesh at his local Breslau market. Of course, nobody at the market knew it was the flesh of human beings. The market consumers believed they were purchasing pork in a jar. The police never got the opportunity to question Denki again. One day after he was apprehended, Denki used some kind of ligature to hang himself inside his cell. So many questions were left unanswered because of his death. Nobody ever knew Denki's motive for killing and eating his victims.